is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add light rays to your photos in Photoshop. Okay, so I have this really great photo here, and you can see at the top here, the sun is kind of bursting through the trees, but I want to make these rays, these rays coming off of the sun here, I want to make them a little more pronounced to where it just makes the photo pop even more. And so it's really easy to do this. It's very simple steps to, uh, to make these rays. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is make a new layer. I'm just going to blank layer here, and I'm going to get a brush here. And, and the brush I have is uh, just a regular normal brush, but I have to make a special brush to do this technique in one of the best ways. And so to do a special brush, to make a, uh, your own brush, you're going to go to Window, and then Brush. And you have the uh, Brush panel here, and this will allow you to create any kind of brush that you want. And so I'm going to walk you through this. If you're not familiar with this brush panel, I'm going to walk you through this here. And you just do the same exact steps that I do. So the first thing we're going to do to is the Shape Dynamics. So when you go in here, you can see kind of a preview of how the brush will flow. And so what we want are, are smaller dots, larger dots, and we want them in kind of random order. And so you can see the size jitter here. We're going to take that all the way up to 100%. And you can see in this brush, we have small dots over here, large dots over here. Uh, and that's kind of what we're wanting here. So next, we're going to do scattering. And you can see the scattering is at 100. I'm going to keep it at 100 because you can see if I, if I do zero, it's the same brush we were using uh, when we were under the shape dynamics. But if you go to one, uh, 1000 here, you can see that it just scatters all over the place. And that's kind of what we want, we want. We want it to be very, very random in what we're doing here. So the next thing I'm going to do is the smoothing tab. I'm going to click down here and I'm going to make sure my, my scatter is all the way at a thousand. And then the last thing we're going to do is the brush tip shape. Uh, I'm just going to make sure the hardness is all the way to uh, zero. If I do uh, kind of a 100% one, here, it's going to be kind of a, a rough brush. So I want to make it sure it's feathered real good. And uh, that's basically the brush that we're going to create. So I'm just going to close this window down here. And I'm going to enlarge my brush here. And I'm going to paint over uh, with a black color so you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm just going to paint right here. And you can see these black spots all over the place and it's just popping up in random order as I'm drawing around the screen. So that's kind of what we're wanting to create. So let me just get rid of that layer, get a brand new layer again. And I'm going to keep my brush fairly small. Uh, mine's going to be around 80 here. And I'm going to sample a color from right over around here. It's probably going to end up to be white, but I just want to sample, sample a color to make sure it's kind of matches the scene. And now all I'm going to do is draw big circles around the image. Uh, there's no real precise way to do this. I'm just drawing big circles all the way around the image and it's scattering almost like snow around your image. And the more you create, the more rays you're going to have. So again, I'm just drawing around here just like that. Okay, so this is our uh, brush layer here. And so I'm going to do uh, a filter here. And if you're not familiar with the filters, there's a bunch of them. Uh, but I'm going to use the uh, goat here to filter, blur, and I'm going to use radial blur. And now you have two options for a blur method. You have a spin method, which you can see kind of does a real real fast swirl method here. But we also have a zoom, which will allow it to, uh, to, to kind of come at you a little bit. And so I want to make sure my amount is at 100. And this point right here, this little crosshair, is where the center of the blur will take place. And so as the sun is right up here, I want to make sure my center is around where that sun's going to be. So I'm just going to do it right around here. Quality can be best or good. Don't ever use draft. It kind of kind of messes with it a little bit, but just keep it at good. It's probably uh, good enough. And I'm going to click OK. And as you can see there, it kind of stretched the uh, stretched the dots all the way around, and uh, you can see it kind of made really cool rays. And so now I can, uh, since it's on its own layer, I can feel free to move this around. So if it doesn't quite match up. I can just move it right over that sun. Now we do have a harsh edge here where the effect didn't go, uh, you know, didn't take place down there. So all I got to do is uh, zoom that out a little bit. Go down here and click enter. All right, and there we have our rays. So now if we want to do it again, we can do the same effect again and try to blur it out a little more. If we want more intense rays, we can duplicate the layer and do do it that way. That's a little too fake. We don't want to do it that way. Uh, but one thing we can do to kind of help this out is to warm up the uh, light ray effect. And one method that I always like to use for this is the photo filter. So I'm going to go down here to the adjustment panel and do uh, photo filter. I'm going to clip this photo filter layer to our brush layer here. So I'm going to hold alt or option and hover in between and click. And I'm just going to lighten up the rays. I'm just going to make sure that they're, they're warmer uh, than what they were. So I'm going to keep doing that right around there. Looks about good. 
And uh, now the only thing, I, other thing I can do is play with the blending modes. I can do uh, different types of blending modes to make sure it blends in a little more. Uh, just kind of play around with them. Uh, screen works pretty well sometimes. Uh, color dodge uh, doesn't really do much. It just depends on your image, really. Uh, I'm just going to keep playing around with them until I find the right one. So it looks like soft light did it did it pretty well. Uh, as you can see, it's not too noticeable, which you don't want it to be very noticeable. You don't want it to look really fake. But I could duplicate this layer and make it more intense and then clip this layer again. And you can see the before and after. I'm going to go ahead and, and group these together so you can see the before and after. This is our before. This is our after. It just kind of gives a little bit more rays in there. And it, you can go back and redraw the dots as many times as you want to. You can make the dots larger to make the rays a little more fatter. Uh, and you can just kind of play around with that method. But that's the general process of creating simple light rays in your photos using uh, Adobe Photoshop. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.